right, folks, we are here once again at the Dirty Table with another Tom Brady appreciation video topic, conversation, post, whatever you want to call it. And you're probably super sick of me talking about him at this point, even though really we've only talked about him like three times here, but, you know, it's whatever, it's fine. But I had a realization when Tom Brady reached his continually record-setting 10th Super Bowl appearance uh, for this upcoming weekend as of when this video is being recorded. I proclaimed previously that he went from being Captain America of the New England Patriots in Massachusetts uh, to the Red Hood, crossing over from Marvel to DC, the same way that he changed conferences. And thinking about it, I was wrong to make that snap judgment, as I'm sure many of us have been wrong to make the snap judgment that Tom Brady didn't still have it in him to take any random team to the Super Bowl by sheer will of force. If he didn't make it this far, I probably would have stayed with the answer, but Tom Brady went from being the Red Hood to being Robin in New England and then transforming into Nightwing. Tom Brady is Nightwing. He's not Red Hood. He broke off from Bill Belichick's Batman and left for Bloodhaven to become his own man. And it worked. Who'd have thought it would? Tom Brady leaving due to money is a myth. In my mind. Maybe not everyone agrees with me, but in my mind, I don't... That's not why he left. He didn't head for Tampa Bay because he wanted job security. He left New England because he still wanted to prove that he was the man, that he still had that it factor to lead his teammates to victory after victory after victory and get them to the promised land. He wanted it for his coaching. He wanted it from his coaching staff, that respect. He wanted his opinion to be validated amongst his coaching peers. And at this point, 20 plus years into his career, he has enough knowledge of what routes he wants his receivers to run because he's the guy that's going to throw them the football, not the coaches, even with fantastic coaching on the sideline. He isn't someone who's looking to cash in on his Super Bowl victories while he's still playing. He's not living in that world of comfortability. I mean, he just, right before the game, had his family basically leave their giant extravagant mansion so he could have the whole place to himself for 12 days so he could prep. He's not living in comfort. He's constantly working. But you would think after 20 years of being the top competitor in the league, he earned the right to be listened to because without the proper sidekick for all this time, the Patriots don't have nearly as much success as previous years. Clearly, Brady's winning the divorce. Who knows if that's a long-term statement to be had, but right now he's definitely enjoying the benefits of the separation. Most likely two Super Bowls and three or four appearances is what we would have had for the New England Patriots, not six wins of nine without Tom. And Dick Grayson wanted, to, wanted the exact same thing to no longer be treated like a child in the eyes of Bruce Wayne. You outgrow your teachers over time. I think, I think everyone, uh, when they're dealing with a mentor-protege kind of vibe, they, they eventually move on almost by accident in a way. One day it just hits you. You know, I'm ready, I'm ready to get to the next level, wherever that is. I don't, need, I don't want to stay in this level of comfort anymore. And sometimes teachers can't help themselves. They can't help but see their protégés as the same kids they were when they first met them. And I see sports the same way I do my favorite characters or even people that I respect and look up to in real life. You can admire the heroes on both sides while still acknowledging their shortcomings as long as they're not infringing hate on others and thus becoming the villain. Tom is no longer an anti-hero to me. He's still the same hero that he's always been still look up to him probably going to be my favorite athlete by the time he retires whenever that is because he's not talking about it right now we just weren't ready to still believe that he was still that same hero while he sailed away 
in his pirate ship with all of his new mateys down in Tampa Bay. But he's still got it, and he's proving it in front of our eyes. I do think that winning would be the strongest case for his greatness. He's already cemented an incredible legacy, win or lose, but with a win, it puts him into another stratosphere that it feels right now that it wouldn't be touched because it's just so amazing what he's doing. He's not the first quarterback to take his team to the Super Bowl and win. That was Peyton Manning, as all of us know. But for him to do what he's done in the first year as a wild card team, going on the road throughout all of his playoff games and winning. Granted, he's had a strong defense, and that needs to be taken into account for these wins, but football's a team sport. It's not just one guy. That's why he left New England. He didn't want to be the one guy that could make plays. He understands that football's a team effort. He understands that the defense needs to create plays so that the offense can score points. And he knows that the coaching staff also needs to work with the players and create the best unit out of the available players that they have. And it's not to say that we didn't do that up here in New England. We did it for 20 years. That's why we have all the championships that we do. But when you have such a core piece being a part of that process, not being listened to, yeah, I kind of understand wanting to go to a place where you feel like you're wanted. We definitely wanted Tom here. But I think after 20 years of success, we didn't show it as much, as opposed to a team in Florida where they haven't had a face of the franchise practically ever. Tom is them. Tom is that for them after 50 years of almost relevancy with one championship run sprinkled in there um, through sheer luck of trades and such, but that's a story for another time. So, yeah, Tom's still got it. Obviously, I'll be rooting for him this weekend. We'll see how it goes. Doesn't affect my view of him, win or lose. But man, if he wins, oh, let me know what you think. Like the video, share with all your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, and let us know in the comments what you think.